And in other news, less than a day after the 15-year-old Irwin High School student was fatally stabbed by a schoolmate, the Child Protection and Family Services Agency reached out to his family, school, and community at large. This move is geared at providing a sense of comfort to those now mourning. Trisha Gay Kelly has this follow-up. The family of 15-year-old Raniel Plummer is still grappling with his gruesome death after he was stabbed in the heart, allegedly by a schoolmate, outside the Irwin High School premises in St. James Thursday evening. The school community also continues to mourn his passing, while others are still in shock. President of the Jamaica Association of Principals of Secondary Schools, Japs, Linvern Wright, says the matter has left many disturbed. It's one of the most horrible things when you have I'm a member of your school dying. I mean, worse yet, if it's another student stabbing another student. Nobody who students for that kind of thing, and you don't want that. In fact, all of what you do, you know, it's just that. And I'll tell you one thing. There are very few schools in Jamaica now that are not, you know, just covering with some kind of anxiety. This anxiety, he says, is in reference to the growing fear that schools are no longer assumed to be a safe space. In recognition of the importance of swift action, Child Protection and Family Services Agency CPFSA CEO Lorette Adams-Thomas confirmed that the Ministry of Education, along with the CPFSA, visited the school on Friday. Students need to understand that acts of violence do not only impact the immediate family who suffered the loss of their child, but that it also impacts their classmates and other children for a lifetime. She says work has already begun to assist those impacted by the incident, with the CPFSA now offering counseling to students as well as family and community members. The family has been referred to the Ministry of Justice's Victim Services Division for further counseling, and they will also receive counseling in this coming week from the agency's Child and Family Support Unit, who will ensure that contact is maintained with them. The CPFSA CEO adds that it's imperative that students be taught to resolve conflicts in a peaceful manner. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM News.